A hunter takes out a moose that has been a big part of a southwestern Colorado community. Now, locals say there's an investigation underway to determine if this kill was actually legal. A moose was caring for her two calves at the time, and she was no ordinary animal to the people that watched her. This happened in Lake City, a small mountain town near Uray and Silverton. Karen Morfitt has been looking into this case. Karen, people think she should have been protected in this area where she was killed. And Dominic, they say this happened in an area that is well known for viewing wildlife. They would like to see these areas protected or excluded from hunting. And they say at that point, when folks go into those areas, it's not about sport anymore. For Steve and Linda McCormick, moose watching is more than just a pastime. It's a passion. We're the moose people. <laughs> yeah. For years, the Lake City couple has studied and photographed the moose in their area, eventually putting their knowledge into a book, Ain't Moose Behavin'. When they learned this one, who they have seen with her two calves on occasion, was killed in an area popular for viewing, they were outraged. Legitimate hunters, we are okay with. Um, what really, I think, has upset not only us, but everybody around Lake City, hunters included, is that this was basically an easy kill. Hunting moose is legal in Colorado and popular. A Parks and Wildlife spokesperson says they had nearly 40,000 applications for the one-time hunt and issued the maximum number of tags, about 500. But locals question if this kill was legal and are asking for change, even if it was. Is to have those areas along the viewing corridors where everybody goes, everybody knows the moose hang out, have those as hunt free zones. The McCormicks believe it would make cases like this less common. What we would just want to see is that the level, you know, the playing field is leveled. Now the biggest concern from locals is that this may have happened on private property. Now we did reach out to the CPW office in that region, but we have not heard back yet on whether or not that is exactly what they're investigating. As soon as we do, we'll be sure and update you. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Thank you, Karen.